As you may have noticed, on the slideshow view of this presentation, which I showed you in the custom animation video, I made little clickable zones over the states so that I could click the state and move to that slide and then come back to the title. Here's one for Washington. I'll show you in this short video how to do that. Let me end the show. And to make things easier, I've added a slide to the end for, of the presentation for Colorado, which I'm not sure. A lot of, if you're on the East Coast, it's a Western state. For those of us in California, not quite so Western, but be that as it may, I'm going to rename it. It makes it easier if the slide is called a descriptive name, and you'll see why in just a moment. So I just right-click the slide and named it for the state. You'll see that my other slides in this presentation have all been renamed. Coming back to the title slide, I'm going to make a small rectangle. Let me see, I'm going to put it over Colorado so it can't be too big. And then I'm just going to use the arrow keys to nudge it into position. And then I'm going to add an interaction to that object. And I'm going to say at mouse click, go to a page or object. And then it asks me where in this presentation I want to go. And this is where having named the slide comes in handy. Now I know that I want to go to Slide Colorado, I click OK. Now coming up to the slideshow view, I can click on that and I'll move to Colorado. Now I didn't have, I don't have anything on that but we'll go back. However, that doesn't look nearly as elegant, does it, as the zones that I've made over the other western states. All we have to do is make this rectangle transparent and it'll work the same way. So, having positioned it, I will now say an invisible line and, must be down at the bottom, no, here we go, invisible color. Now, although it's still, we can still see the selection handles, nothing else, and when I click off it, you can't see it. And that's why I suggest that you create it, position it, and put its interaction on and make sure it's working before you make it transparent and invisible because then it gets much more difficult, doesn't it? So let's go to the slideshow, point to Colorado, and there it is, jumping right to the slide we need. So that's not hard, but it is very powerful to be able to make your slideshows as if they're flash-based almost with this transparent rectangle tool with interaction added. So I hope you enjoy seeing that little trick.